Hi everybody, it's me, Todd Moses the first, living Pharaoh. That's what you shall be, Lamp Crookshank, whatever you know me by. Master poet, master sage, whatever. Seeking knowledge of the evolution of the soul. It's the time for everybody to know. I have a few subjects and topics that I want to uh, focus on today. I'm out here in the mountains around nature, you know. I'm letting everybody reflect on the sound of water and the harmony that's inside the sound of water. The first topic that I want to speak on is why most people that grow up in the hood, the only goal or dream they have is to want to be a rapper. I mean, it's a good demonstration. There's nothing wrong with trying to be a rapper and everything. But let's look at goals for what they are. Everybody and their mama is trying to be a rapper. We need more doctors, lawyers, political leaders, things of that nature. Congress is falling apart right before our very face. Our country is falling apart. We need some of you brothers and sisters to wake up and start getting into the books. Start learning more. Start wanting to be something more than just a rapper. I mean, you can keep your goal and dream if you want to be a rapper, but let that be your secondary goal and dream. Let us first find success somewhere else. And once you get the success in that, or what society and our community needs, then use the money you make off that to focus on being a rapper and have your words and views be heard even more. All I'm saying is let's just focus on being something more than just a rapper because everybody's going for that. And the odds of us being successful in that is real slim because that's what everybody's trying to do. My second topic that I want to talk about is the New World Order and the Illuminati. I'm seeing a lot of stuff on the internet and everybody's scared of the New World Order and the Illuminati. The first thing I want to say is that the New World Order is a good thing. That's what we need, a New World Order, because the Old World Order ain't shit. All it's brought us is pain, suffering, and bullshit. And we've been stuck being the same way, imperfect humans, for the last 2,000 years. We haven't grown in no areas, in no way. The only thing we've grown in is technology. And technology is the very thing that will destroy us. Because when you think you're smart, something comes along to show you that you're dumb. Look, we went from VHS and cassette tape to CDs and DVDs. And all they do is get scratched up and wore out way more than the DVDs and the cassettes used to get scratched up and worn out. So all I'm saying is let's just wake up. And as far as with the Illuminati, let's not be afraid of them. Right now they're in power, they can do whatever they want to do. They have the money, they control the media and everything else. Let them do what they want to do. If it's evil, they will defeat themselves. The creator is not going to let evil win no matter what. I'm pretty sure why we all looking at the Illuminati as evil. Some of them are good and just going along with the evil plot until they become successful. And once they become successful, they will war amongst themselves and defeat themselves. So we don't have to worry about the Illuminati. Let them do what they want to do. Do not be afraid of them. You can't stop them. They've already been doing things the way they've been doing it for hundreds of years. So let them do what they do. And in the end, evil will defeat itself. Evil can never win. As long as you keep focused on what is right, and you know what is going on and stay focused, they will defeat themselves. Bottom line. Next, I want to talk about how life is set up. A lot of people don't understand this, but if we would look at a radio station, we would see the exact way life is set up. It's like a radio station. Each station exists at the same time. But in order to experience each station, you must tune to the frequency and experience one station each at a time. It's the same way with life. Right now, we're on this frequency. That's why we're experiencing Earth and all the situations that we have to deal with. This is our level of consciousness right now. The things we learned in past lives or in past worlds brought us here because that's what we practice. And now we're stuck here until we learn something else that can get us to the next world once we change our form and leave this human body that we're in right now. We go to a different world according to what we learn. That's why I focus and stress on the five principles of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice so much. Because love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice are the principles to practice to get you to a whole nother world. If you're practicing love and truth, how can you live and, and, and be in a world of falsehood? You won't desire it anymore. This is a world of falsehood, where most people are nothing but liars and phony. If you practice not being a liar and a phony, you will get to a higher world, where you don't have to deal with liars and phony. That's just a little something that I want to throw out there for brothers who are on the level to be able to understand that. The next thing I want to focus on is how we in this world and we chase after things that we cannot have, things that we cannot keep. We want the finest female, the fanciest car. But once we get these things, we no longer want them anymore and we want the next best thing. We're chasing after smoke, something that just blows away. We're chasing after the things that we want and we, we have, but once we get them, we find no happiness in them and we want to move on. The main thing to chase after, the main thing that will give you happiness and contentment within yourself is knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. It's the only thing that will bring your heart to the completion that you want it to be. Chasing after all this material stuff, money, 
better jobs and all that, you'll never be happy. It's always going to blow right back in your face. And that's what we as humans must learn and must practice to one thing that's going to last. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding will last. When you leave this ball of flesh, this fake body, whatever race you are, whatever, all this bullshit that's really nothing, once you leave this, the only thing you will have to keep is knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And that will determine what Stargate will open for your soul in order to enter into the next world that it would be wise for you to enter if you've learned the proper lessons in order to go through the Stargate to get to these worlds. You see what I mean? This is what life is all about. Learning a certain set of principles and virtues to get you to a high world. But if you practice lower things like hate, lust, uh, gluttony, and all forms of bullshit, all you're going to do is knock yourself down to a worse world than this when you change your form. Or it might even come back to this world. That's why the rapper Tupac always demonstrated that his only fear of death was to come back to this world reincarnated. You see what I mean? Because who, who would any sense want to come back to a world like this? A falsehood and bullshit. Where everybody says one thing but always does another. Nobody can stand on their word and stay truthful. Only a chosen few. Those who practice that. But who wants to stay in a world like this? A world of nothingness. This world is just corrupt and dirty. It's time for us to wake up, practice the right principles that can get us to higher world once we change form and leave out of this ball of flesh and enter to the next body in the next world. That's what we want to do. Wake up and get on a page where we can learn certain principles, good principles, that will get us to better world. I keep stressing that point because I want you to see how important it is. Now, as far as one thing that we can't have, that's the greatest flaw of human nature. Once humans wake up and learn that that's our greatest problem, one something that we can't have, that's when we will get, get on a better mental level as a whole. Because right now, all of us are just chasing after things we can't have. We chase after money, but as soon as we get it, we spend it. We chase after the prettiest female, but as soon as we meet her and find out her mental state and how stupid she is and ignorant, you know what I'm saying, we don't like her anymore. You see what I mean? It's time for us to wake up. Same thing with cars, jobs, you name it. Anything of material, materialistic and, and fleshly nature that we chase and desire after is the main very thing that keeps knocking us down and keeps us unhappy and unsatisfied. And um, like I said, I just want people to wake up. I want people to realize that you have to change your state of mind. Each and every day our body changes. Our body grows older. Cells are rebuilt and destroyed. Over and over everything changes. But how many of us decide to change the mind? To change your mentality? How many of us work on our character? How many of us work on the things that is worth working on? That's what I want to know. With that thought, I want you to ponder on that. And I want you to remember my book on Amazon.com. I am the portrait of self-realization. And I want you to go cop that and start waking up and learning. My portrait is deep and it's going to have you elevate your mind. With that thought, I send love, peace, and blessings to all of you. I love you all.